love today. All right, today we are going beyond the drill. All right, so what do I mean when I say beyond the drill? First of all, if you haven't seen my drilling video, please go watch that. It's an important part of learning, really, to learn to drill a section of a song. And um, you need to be doing that. If, um, you know, you're always going to have parts of a song that need drilling. Okay, so let's go beyond that. So you have your song. You have it memorized, okay? The song is memorized fully in your head, okay? You can pick up the banjo and play that song with very few mistakes, okay? No one's perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. Um, that's why they call us amateurs and not pros, okay? Um, so you can play through that song without many mistakes, okay? Now, you've already drilled those sections where you slow down to where you can play that song at an even tempo all the way through, okay? So that work has already been done. If you cannot do this on the song of your choice that you're gonna try for this video, then don't attempt to do this, okay? This is not for you. Go back, learn how to drill a section, and learn how to memorize, okay? And do those things. Get a song that you love, that you enjoy playing, and that you've done all these things with. Okay, now, um, there's not going to be any tab for this, so uh, this is really just an organic type of thing, and it's going to change with everything you do, but I would ask you to please hit that subscribe button down below. My, uh, my little analytics say that 70% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed, so please just do me that favor if you enjoy my content and like watching it. Just hit that subscribe. It costs you nothing. Um, so just do that for me. All right. So the song that I'm going to pick today is Wildwood Flower. Love that song. Been playing it. That's the first song I learned on the banjo, uh, in the claw hammer style. And, uh, so I've been playing this song forever, but over the years, this song has changed for me. Um, and that's kind of what happens once we get to that point where we've fully memorized it and can play it all the way through. Um, and we've drilled those sections. We've done all that work. Now it's fun and we can really express ourselves in our play. But when you get to a point where, you know, you have played the song a lot and you play it differently, just a, just a touch differently every time you play it, you know, a couple of notes here and there, a couple of embellishments here and there change for you. This is something you can do, um, and it's not really drilling, but it kind of is. So we take a section of that song. Um, let me just play a section of it for you. The first little phrase there, right? Uh, that was just a tiny little bit of embellishment and just, you know, those melody notes of the song, right? All right, let me play it again for you, and then we'll talk about this after drill. Alright, so I've got a little bit of embellishment in there. Sounds kind of nice, doesn't it? But, we can add things to it, okay? So, you hear that I go, okay? So instead of this, right, that's straightforward, I went, I just added a little hammer on, okay? Now let's play the next section. time I tried it, it didn't work. We have to stay within the confines of our melody of our song because we want people to know what song we're playing. At least I do. I want people to know what song I'm playing. But we can, we're sort of drilling here, see? We're taking that first section 
normally play. to it all right now everything you try is not going to work obviously and if you've been playing for a while you'll have a little bit of a trained up ear and you'll be able to hear when you're not matching the melody okay so we have a lot of so what we can do past our drilling is we can take each section and try to add more interest to that section okay and things you want to watch out for are straying too far away from the melody, okay? If somebody's listening to the song and they can't hear the melody, let's say you're playing by yourself. Now, if you have other people playing with you, the rules are completely different here. You can do a lot of backup playing, and that's not what I'm talking about here. Now, I'm talking about you're the only player here, and you are the driving force of that melody. So, if you just go on with a bunch of stuff um, that doesn't follow along with the melody, you're going to muddy the waters, and um, it's not as pleasing when people listen to it. At least it's not as pleasing to me. Other people may disagree, and of course that's fine. But, um, so I like to, I don't really set out to go and say, I am going to drill this one little piece of the song to make it better. I sort of naturally come to that over time. Um, but if you want to make this a specific thing that you aim to do, this is how I would suggest doing it. Um, you can really shorten that span of time that you come to these things, okay? Because naturally, over the course of playing years and years, you're going to naturally come to these things where it just gets better and better. It To me, it doesn't really get any worse. It gets better over the years um, of just playing that song over and over and living in that song. And so um, you can come across little things like this, you know. more um, fancy stuff as well and that is your preference of course but I wanted to take a moment and kind of show you a little process of that through this song um, there's obviously you can do a billion things um, but me I like to stick close to that melody okay I hope this has given you some ideas about this concept and I hope that you will use it to improve your playing. Um, Alright, before I go, I want to always remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.